Growing up in Fairbanks, Alaska, there were quite a few things that I thought all children around the world experienced the same way that I did. For example, I thought that all parents had to check their driveways for Mama Moose before sending their kids down to the bus stop. I thought that 40 below was a completely reasonable temperature in which to go to school and that all children must be as totally annoyed as I was to get bundled up to go to recess to the point where movement was basically impossible. And I thought that all children were exposed to the same level of music education that my friends and my sisters and I were. We spent our childhoods attending lessons with amazing teachers, rehearsing with quartets and orchestras, and never missing a Fairbanks Symphony concert. It wasn't always easy and it wasn't always fun, but it did seem like the most natural thing in the world. For quite a while, I thought that every person in the world had the opportunity to study a musical instrument. When I moved to Boston for college, I quickly realized that little of what was normal to an Alaskan child was normal anywhere else in the country. For example, I was very surprised that the sun would set in the summertime, but I was quite glad that it chose to show itself for more than a few hours a day in the wintertime. I was also super confused that Boston and Cambridge were right next to each other. In my mind, cities were always separated by miles and miles of mountains and forests. I also began to realize that the music education available in Fairbanks, something I thought was standard across the country, uh, was actually quite incredible and unusual. I moved to New York City in 2006. During the days, I attended graduate school, and at night I headed out to the Irish music sessions that happened in pubs all over the city. The Irish music scene in New York is an incredible gathering of cream of the crop musicians from all walks of life and from all over the globe getting together in some of the most humble settings to play some of the finest music. It really is an extraordinary concentration of talent. Shortly after moving to New York, I began teaching fiddle classes at the Irish Arts Center in Manhattan to adult beginners, a group of students that I continue to be completely in awe of. Since then, my teaching studio has grown to about 60 students of all ages, abilities, and musical backgrounds. For me, teaching is a way to give back. Look, the violin is a difficult instrument and it requires a lot of time, energy, and guts in order to learn it no matter what age you are. I love the look on people's faces the first time they play a tune straight through without any help. As a teacher, that moment is totally inspiring. Over the years, my students have asked for books and recordings geared towards learning the very specific elements of Irish and American fiddle technique but I've never found anything that fully explains these things in the way that I teach them. So I've spent the last five years developing my own teaching method. I've put a priority on making it as easy as possible for people to master basic skills quickly. And I've also put an emphasis on secondary musical knowledge that is often glossed over. Stuff like ear training, ensemble etiquette, music theory, etc because, in my opinion, those things are so important in order to become a well-rounded musician. But, as you know, if you're one of my students, my recordings and handouts are a bit of a hodgepodge right now, so I've decided it's finally time to put together a full set of materials, both so my own students can benefit and so students who don't have access to the musical resources available in Alaska or in New York City can share in the joy of playing traditional Irish and American music. This Kickstarter is for two projects. The first is a suite of learning materials, which will consist of a book, a set of recordings, and a set of videos. 
The book will include written tunes, of course, but will also include explanations and exercises dealing with music theory, ornamentation, bowings, etc. I'll also include a section for teachers looking to teach this type of music to their students. The recordings and videos will feature each tune at various speeds and with and without accompaniment. I'm creating this method because I see that there is a lack of detail-oriented material available for students just beginning to play traditional fiddle, especially those who may not be able to work with a teacher for whatever reason. The second project is a set of recordings. Although I've played the violin since the age of three, I've toured with many incredible groups like the Riverdance Company and Cherish the Ladies, and I've recorded on many other people's CDs, I've never had the chance to make my own. So the format of this recording project will be very unique. I'll be recording a series of EPs, each one featuring a different genre of music and many fabulous musicians from across the country, including You can read more about the solo project in my profile below. These are both ambitious projects, there's no doubt about that. The timeline will be updated here on Kickstarter and also in emails to backers once the project is funded, so you can keep an eye on what I'm doing. Regarding my financial goals, well, talking about money is one of my least favorite things to do, so while I do that, I'll treat you to some pictures of my favorite Alaskan baby animals. My financial goal is ambitious, but will cover a large number of projects. The actual cost will be about twice the amount I'm raising on Kickstarter, but I'll be personally funding the other half. I've listed a bunch of reach rewards for projects I'd love to include as part of this. Check them out and see if they'd be of any use to you. And of course, I've come up with some really great backer rewards for you guys, which are listed to the right of this video. If you don't see what you want, feel free to email me your request and I'll see what I can do. If you've always wanted to play the fiddle, now is the time. Just click on that little button right over there, pre-order the book, and you're halfway there. It's that easy. I'm really excited about finally seeing these projects through to completion. They are both definitely a long time in coming. If you have any questions at all about either project, please get in touch, and thanks in advance for your support. Alright, enough talking.